Hey guys, today I'll be opening up a the a Marvel Mayfex, The Amazing Spider-Man Carnage. It also says it's from X-Men. Front, side, back, and the other side. This is kind of a big one, as you can see from the top. So let's open them up. Big package, I can barely put my fingers into it. There you go. And the bottom has some tape, so. Yeah. The bottom is just really just normal hands. We'll take the tape off, though. Yeah. Trying to take the tape off. That's all right. Then we'll take it off. We'll take it off. Just pull it off. Boom! There you go. Look at that guy. And this isn't a paint job. This is a actual textured body. Yeah. Look at all that stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he really does come with an insane amount of stuff. Don't forget the magnetic feet. Yeah, the magnetic feet and magnetic hands. He got magnetic feet and hands. Oh yeah. Wow. Now let's actually look at the thing. So he's pretty. He's all rightly tall. I mean, I would be scared if I saw something like this walking at me. Let's look at some of the hands. We have Wolverine claw hands. That's pretty sweet. Pop it in. Wolverine claw hands. And I feel like since it looks so like messy, you would probably have like one of these on it or something. Yeah, you probably throw one of them. Off. Yeah, cause look how messy like all the strings mm -hmm. are and stuff. Now, now he has kind of a. What would you even call this hand? Throw that messy string on. Oh yeah. Nope, the other way. Nope, like flip it the other way. Yup. Yeah. Like it's coming off of him. Yup. You got it? Yeah. Bro, look at that hand. And I just popped off the shoulder. There we go. So here we go. It's kind of like a grappling cow hand. I'm trying some other ones. This is, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer view. He has a spear hand. It's falling off. Let's see. There you go. He has kind of like a spear hand as if he's spearing someone. Let me see this one. Not popping on, weird. Try using the other arm so when we don't mess around with that one too much. Wow. Okay. Come on, Matrix, you guys gotta do better. Uh, hammer hand. Look at, look at this. It's a left hand. You despise a left. Don't tell me this is another left hand. It's a right hand. He has kind of like scythe ish.
There we go. Oh, that could be a dangerous combo. He kind of stabs you with the thing, pulls you towards him, and just slices you in half. It's a dangerous combo. Now let's try on the heads. Let's try on the screaming kid. Here we go. Hmm. I'm just popping off everything at this point. There we go. So we have the screaming kid. Then let's try on one more. And then the rest of his hands are just claws. You know, I'm not even going to take the rest. Just... So both of his hands are super loose. That's, yeah. That's crazy. That's disappointing, Mayfix. But I mean, at least nothing's broken. Yeah, but it's he still shouldn't have a figure like this fresh out the box. My personal opinion, at least. Because he, he ends up being super expensive you know we end up spending a lot of money on these guys so the least we want is for their arms to stay in place when we're posing them and knocking out a review let alone if we're playing with them a little bit god forbid we play with them a little bit right guys because these are not made to play with huh <laughs> but here he goes look at him though in doing so, I gave him this epic pose, I think, where he has, like, these bodybuilder shoulders. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like, come at me, bro. What do you think of me? <laughs> right? Yeah. And I think one of the reasons why his arms are kind of a little loose is because of the texture. Yeah, might be. This is obstructing the stuff. Like, it's, yeah, the, like when you move the, it. yeah, it's pushing away on the joint. Great point, great point. So his texture might be rubbing against the joints which is like pushing them out a little like, bit because it kind of like goes into yeah it does go into the joint i will say that you're right on that but anyways we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up bye